Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to have a look at the Vixen VMC 95L. It's a small uh, Maksutov. <laughs> 95 millimeters, about a thousand millimeters focal length. Hopefully F11. Anyway, it's a uh, it's supposed to be a Maksutov. I want you to notice that there's no corrector plate here. This doesn't have the deep meniscus type of corrector in it in the usual Maksutov. Technically, it may be a Maksutov, but it's a it's a sub aperture Maksutov. There's a corrector in front of the secondary that makes it technically a Maksutov. Anyway, it's a cute little scope as you can see. On the Mini Porta mount it was clearly designed to go at least possibly go on the Mini Porta mount like this which is quite nice. Very attractive package, don't you think? This has um, an interesting Kind of a dovetail. This is the standard Vixen dovetail, but it's mounted on what would normally be considered to be the side of the scope. I'll show you how you can mount it on the bottom and, and do different uh, styles of mounting for this telescope. But here with the Vixen Mini Porta, it's perfect for it to be like so. Mounts right there. And there you go. The Mini Porta. This one is not a good example. It, uh, I think it has a good reputation, but mine is uh, not, de it's defective for some reason. Anyway, the cute little mini port mount would be ideal for it if, if mine was working properly. And it's, uh, it's just as cute as it can be. It's a cute little Maksutov. It's got a flip mirror system, like a, so that's the flip mirror arrangement there. So you can, you're looking now through the eyepiece and now down through the, straight through back through the tube. You can put a camera on here or you can put another eyepiece on here if you want. So it's uh, trying to be sort of like a Questar. Uh, it's not succeeding in, in, in many, success. it's not succeeding in many ways, but it's trying. Uh, there's your focuser, nice smooth focuser. It moves the primary mirror back and forth as is usual with these kinds of scopes. One thing I want you to notice about this is it's got curved spider veins here. This is an attempt to reduce the, it, it doesn't really reduce the diffraction but it reduces the spikes, it smears the spikes out is what it does. So uh, it's a little fancy overkill and really not such a great idea. Uh, it's also got a pretty large secondary there. Uh, not much bigger than most secondaries on these kinds of scopes though. So it's, it's not too bad in that regard. The Vixen dovetail on the bottom or the side of this mount can easily be changed fairly easily. This is, by the way, a quarter inch 20 socket here for mounting on a standard camera tripod. So that part just comes off. So now you have the dovetail mounted on the bottom. Now you can mount the Vixen VMC 95L onto this mount. This is actually sold by Kenko. Came with a Maksutov, 4 inch Maksutov. It's a really superb mount. There is, I think, a very successful little telescope there. It's got a really nice 6x30 finder. Flip mirror, optics are good, mount is good, everything is good now. This is a very nice little outfit. Be sure to check out my video linked in the description where I compare this scope with several other catadioptric Cassegrain telescopes. I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the Vixen VMC 95L Maxutov telescope. Thank you for watching.